In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how I add some muddy environmental effects to my miniatures in two simple steps. I'm a pretty big proponent of having my models tie in visually with their base, as it makes your dudes look like they are really standing in the environment that your base represents, as opposed to just standing on top of it. To do this, all you will need is a foam sponge, this one I got from some battle foam pluck trays, and muddy and wet ground texture paints from AK Interactive. In a nutshell, all I do here is start by sponging on some muddy ground around the lower third of my marine's leg. Because I'm sponging this paint on, it is applied in a random, organic process that sponging provides, and I think it's perfect for representing the very natural process of mud getting splashed and stuck on the marine's leg. It is inherently random and quite chaotic. Also, because this environmental effect paint has a little bit of texture mixed into it, these textured clumps stick to the marine's leg in a random pattern as well, and they really sell the appearance of built up dirt around the lower leg. If you've ever seen mud before, you know that it is well, uh, kind of wet, seeing it's water mixed with dirt, and when mud gets on things, like Space Marine Power Armor, or our closest real world counterpart, jacked up pickup trucks, it starts off as glossy and eventually dries to a matte finish as the water evaporates out of the mud. So in order to replicate this, I applied some wet ground using my sponge again, just this time a bit more selectively, as only the places where the mud was freshest or thickest would still be glossy and wet. But that's really it. As I said before, this is quite a simple process, but I think it looks good and can easily be replicated across an entire army with little fuss. I'm going to do more of these quick tip videos, tutorials, as topics spring to mind, so if there's anything you want to see me tackle in my painting style, please leave a comment below with your suggestion. Also, if you're interested in learning how I did the bases go along with these models, I have a video for that as well, which you can watch right here. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll be on.